Welcome. We continue our Learning Layers DevOps webinar series with presenting our core offering for small and medium enterprises in terms of secure and scalable large-scale deployment by presenting the concepts behind the Layers box and the Layers adapter. This video is mainly dedicated to end-users, developers and operators. If you are not yet accustomed with the Learning Layers EU funded project or the DevOps use lifecycle, we encourage you to check the previous videos in this series. In previous webinars, we traversed the co-design, develop and test semicircle of the DevOps use lifecycle. We have seen how users can collect requirements and how can improvements, features and issues be reported with tools like Requirements Bazaar and Jira. We also covered agile collaborative software development and continuous integration using GitHub and Jenkins. Last but not least, we have seen how deployment in DevOps can be made easy by using the open source Docker project. This webinar covers large scale deployment. Here we will explore the solution chosen for the infrastructure that Learning Layers uses in order to scale applications for supporting informal learning in different scenarios. This covers the Layers box as complete standalone and deployable solution and the Layers adapter which is a technical solution, part of the Layers box, that offers the entry point and the connection of all layer services to the outside world. This webinar targets the operators, developers, but also end users which are interested in the services behind the Layers box. The picture on the screen illustrates the main scenario targeted by our project. It is user-centered because of the focus on informal learning, which must be scaffolded using a mixture between the physical and digital artifacts and the semantics and metadata attached to these artifacts. These are depicted as layers surrounding the end users. Moreover, the learning opportunities and the involved artifacts are created within the small and medium enterprises outer circle where end users work and learn informally. In our particular case, this being companies from the construction and healthcare domain. This network is where the layers boxes reside. As we can see, the boxes can be installed in multiple places and can communicate with each other. The various applications that are available to end users are accessible from the Layers App Store. The applications stored here can communicate to their corresponding Layers boxes. Upon usage, one application can switch between the same services offered by different SMEs on their Layers boxes. We currently target different levels where the Layers box can run according to the variety of adoption possibilities. All in all, as a metaphor regarding the Layers box adoption, it can be packaged and thrown over the company's fence meaning that it provides an easy and cheap way to install highly productive and scalable software which can be customized according to the needs of its hosts. A small-scale layers box can run on cheap commodity hardware such as a desktop computer, whereas a medium-scale layers box runs on a more sophisticated server hardware. Such a solution is suitable for mediums with significant internal external traffic. A layers box contains services for authentication and authorization using OpenID Connect and can manage users independently. It offers a cloud service level where the data storage solutions are hosted together with other cloud-powered services. The box also stores the services that are needed by the end-user layers applications which are connected to the layers adapter. As previously mentioned, the adapter offers the communication point between the services and the applications and is also responsible for monitoring via the Mopsos usage data collection which will be covered later in this webinar series. Furthermore, the packaging of the different components of the layers box is done using Docker and the container concepts also covered in our webinar series. The layers adapter, our unified service access layer, is used as a reverse proxy for incoming requests. It offers a flexible mapping to underlying RESTful services as a core paradigm used in DevOps use service development. It also links the various APIs to the OpenID Connect as unified authentication and authorization service for all layers apps. Finally, the layers adapter is the component responsible for load balancing and therefore managing the scaling besides the proxying and logging functionalities. Together with the included layers adapter, the layers box offers increased customization and flexibility inside the DevOps used approach, being the end product that this methodology aims to achieve for deployment. For small and medium companies, it will be possible to host any meaningful subset of services on a scaling hardware infrastructure, ranging from a single server to a cloud-based solution without losing the flexibility to add services at a later time or on-demand buying additional cloud-based hosting capabilities. Make sure to try our exercise and thank you for watching. Also, please do not miss our next and final webinar which presents the monitoring and awareness part of the DevOps use lifecycle.